As dropped in in strike three, off speed and Albaugh goes down. Swung on and missed, strike three and back-to-back -back strikeouts for Garver. Rob Manfred would love Melissa Holzapfel <laughs> as quickly retiring. Jackson, the senior from East Pachigo, New York, sends this one into left field. Under that one is the oh. left fielder who drops it. Swung on and missed in strike three. So two strikeouts and in the dirt, ball four. So four pitch walk for Gilkerson. And the first bat, Carver. Swung on into left field. Hopf will get to that one and make the grab for the first out. Hopf got is within its own right. This one into left field, a base hit, Spellman. After going 0-2, 1-2, and lines that one. This one to number 18, into the air, left center field. And caught by the center fielder for Robert Morris. Pull it. And she earns herself the walk cool. here, nice walk. And a nice eye from Courtney Polich. I really thought the umpire was. A and I mean the Eagles is the band. The Eagles is. Black is rung up. We'll talk about the lack. That one outside and a four pitch walk to Frascone. Brings up the top of the order for Cleveland State. Yeah, Garver just didn't get around. Two. This one into right center field. That will drop for a base hit into the gap. Frascone will go around third. The throw to third is not in time. Albaugh goes to second on the throw, and Cleveland State's in business. Second and third with that one slapped over to Kutsajani, who makes the grab. Everyone stays, and Robert Morris gets a good. This one over to Kutsajani, past her, though, for a base hit down the line. One run will score. The second run will come in as well. And Cleveland State, it's the pitcher, Melissa Holtzoffel, who gets a two RBI. 2-1, grounded over to second. They'll tap the runner onto first, and they get the double play. Anna Resnick tapping the runner onto Kona Ice when Kona Ice is offered. That's true. As Kusajani goes down swinging there. Another strikeout. Is this one up the middle and a base hit? Kaylin Hopf on the first pitch she sees here. Outside for a ball, and Sakadura with the walk. <laughs> That's the same kind of ice. Okay. This one slapped over to the right side. Bobbled by the second baseman, but Saxon will be out at first. The good news, then in the dirt, ball four. And now the bases are loaded for Robert Morris. One, two count. This one into right field. The right fielder all the way back off the wall. One run will score, another one rounds over. The throw home, they'll hold the runner at third, but a two RBI double for Avery Winchell and the game is tied back up. There you go, an important at bat in the ball game and you're arguably one of your better hitters on the ball in the, in the ball club delivers the rest of the series. That one up the middle of base hit. Grover will score, they'll wave Winchell, the throw is cut off. The throw over to second. And they get Resnick at second, but two runs do score on the RBI from Anna Resnick and Robert Moore. Swung on and missed in strike three. Moeller Stenz goes down. Another strikeout for Jane. 1-0 count. This one into left field and will drop in front of Kopp for a base hit. Or Hopf, excuse me, for a base hit. So a base hit. This one into right field and deep. That will be off of the wall. Black will get to it, the runner will be raved around. Spellman on the way home, the throw home is not in time. Just a little bit too far in front. Spellman scores and it's an RBI double for Goan. This one right back to Garver and she makes the grab and slams that ball. 0-2, oh fouled back but caught for strike three and Pulich down on three pitches. Swung on and missed and Kutsa Johnny goes down swinging. Five strikeouts for Holzoffel, which has given up four runs. This one over past Kutsajani. A play over to first, not in time though from Charlotte Grover, but a really. The runner goes at second to throw over. They got her at second. Meadow Sakadura. Called strike three and they ring up Saxon and that will end the ball. Drops that one in and drops that one in between the two fielders for a base hit for Gilkerson. 
Gilkerson was... Spring sports going on here. Is this one down the line and a base hit? It'll get all the way to the wall. Queen will be waved around third. The relay throw in. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. The throw to third. Not in time either. And it's an RBI triple for Moeller Stens and Cleveland State. Two, two swung on and missed. Strike three and a big out for Robert Morris. 0-1 count. This one grounded over to Kutsujani. On to first, and Robert Morris keeps it at a tie game in the sixth inning. High, four pitches, and a four-pitch walk for Avery Winchell in the run that could be the difference. This one grounded up the middle. Halsoff will get a piece of it. On to first, not it caught at first. The runner will move to third, and Avery Winchell is at third. Resnick is safe at first, and the Colonials for one struck out and walked. Slaps this one to second on the first. That one gets thrown away. The run scores for Winchell and everybody moves up a base as well. It's an error for Muller Stens and Robert Morris with a 5-4 lead. Catch off of the ground. Is this one up the middle, a base hit. One run will score. The throw to the home is not in time. It's an RBI double for Jess Matheny and Robert Morris up seven to four. As she slaps this one over to third and they've got the runner held over there. But the runner will move up on the ground out for Ventura. And up there and everything. This one payoff pitch over to second and ranging over to make the grab as Muller stands to end from DeVault. Swung on and missed. Was it gloved from Sakic? Swung on and missed. Diang is retired, and that is the game. Robert Morris getting the victory in game number one of this doubleheader. Seven to four, Colonials defeat the Vikings. This one slapped to the right side. It'll be fair down the line in fur, or right. Holtz off on her way to second, and she'll stand up with a double for the player, designated player for Cleveland. Big game for them out near St. Louis, Missouri, as this one grounded over to short, on to first. And it will be Grove in fourth runs on RBIs. Is this one up the middle, snagging that one, though, it was Diang, but it's going to be a base hit. 3-2, strike three. Resnick comes back, but Winchell, Robert Morris. Is this one to the left side, and a base hit. Catalina Saxon's first hit of the afternoon. Carla Grover grounds the short Diang onto first, and that will end the first inning. So two runs. Cue that Sports Center top ten music. Oh my goodness, what a play! But it might go back down as Spellman strikes out swinging, and that'll swung on and missed. Strike three. Pullage goes down. One one the count now. She'll hit the ball instead up the middle. It's a base hit for Meadow Sacadura. Nice contact there from Sacadura. In fact, he just didn't want to show off. That's why he didn't go for it. This exactly. one, right to the first baseman. Speaking though. of showing off. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to be able to let them do that as Frescone earns the walk. Eight in the air, center field. Shallow, ranging over, and Grover makes the catch. Ang will step in. She slaps this one. Over to first, not in time. The runner will stay at second, but Diang is aboard with a base. Payoff pitch. Lined in the left field, a base hit. They'll wave the runner. Now they'll hold the runner. Now cut in a rundown. Back to third, excuse me, and just getting back. Into left field. Hop over to make the grab. What a catch from Kalen Hoff. Two for one with a strikeout. Grounds this one back off the glove of Jenkins, no play for Diang and Winchell is Diang and just can't handle it. Another one first pitch and a base hit on another first pitch base hit. Winchell will go to third. She'll slide in and first and third, a little two out magic for Robert Morris. There it is, Jenkins through the fast. Settles two one count. This one into right field, a base hit. RBI will score, Ehrman on her way to third. She will be safe. Grover to second, and Charlotte Grover with an RB. Third and a runner on second. 
for Courtney Polich. Is this one grounded to Deang? Deang on the first, and that will end the third inning. But the Colon position to the Horizon League. Seeing eye single for Spellman. Inside for a ball. Pitch from Tatro. Grounded over to Winchell. Winchell will collect it, make the tag, and the inning is over. Showing bunt and dropping a bunt down. Sacadura onto first. Matheny will move up, but a good play from. Watts pitched in mop up duty for the Vikings as McDonald gets the strike. 3 2 pitch. Popped up into the air, the shortstop making the grab, Diang, and that will end 1-1 one, one count. This one diving, but Grover can't make the play. And I think Grover's kind of kicking herself. I think it was just making sure Meadow Sacadura is all right. This one into left field and a base hit, it drops in. Diang dropping a bunt now for Cleveland State, and it's a good one, over to first. So, he. 0 for 2 today is grounded over Kutsu Johnny. They're going to get the runner at home in a pickle. Over to third. Back to Devon. Oh. That ball knocked out and safe is the call. Devon can't hold on to the ball. The umpire ruling that she lost it and the call is 2 2. Swung on and missed. And the runner will go to first. They're going to keep her at third. Pitch for DeVault. Swung on and missed, strike three. And the runners stay at second and third, but we're on your side. 0-2 oh count, now this one into left field, a base hit for the Colonials. Swung on and missed, strike two. Or strike three, excuse me, is earlier. And drops a bunt down and a beauty. Over to second, and it's gonna be safe. That one well, goes away, and ball don't lie. The runners <laughs> advance. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it really didn't matter. Not Swung on and missed, and Grover goes down swinging McDonald. Pulich over into the right side. That one's fair ball for the Colonials. Both runs will score. Pulich all the way around to third. And Courtney Pulich. An RBI, two RBI stand up triple, and Robert Morris with a 3 1 lead. This one into right field and deep, all the way back towards the wall and making the grab. A nice grab from the right. Swung on and missed, and strike three. Of course, a pitch called strike three. Frascone goes down looking. DeVault. Shoots a Johnny, drops a bunt down, and nobody can get there for Cleveland State in a base hit. Kutsa Johnny going for second. She's out. The throw over from Gorsuch. Tonight, the university. That, that one into center or right field, excuse me, for a base hit. And they're gonna keep the runner. I believe this one gets back behind the catcher and a run will advance as Hopp will go home on the passed ball. This one grounded over off Ooh. the face of the third baseman for Cleveland State. It took a wild hop.